Hello again. This is a very short post because I simply wish to say something which seems to me to be self-evident and yet may well be regarded as horribly controversial. There are some jobs which are better undertaken by older men rather than teenage girls. I am mentioning this because of a current court case which has arisen largely due to the modern perspective which is that anything which a man of 40 can do for a job, a teenage girl only out of school for a year or two, should be able to do just as well. The thumbnail to this video shows a 21-year-old woman who is currently on trial because it is alleged that two years ago, when she was 19, she was working as a guard in a men's prison and had an affair with a prisoner. In the description to this video, I give a link to a news item about this case. Now, I have not the least idea whether this young woman actually committed the offence of which she's accused, but let's forget that and concentrate instead on the wisdom, or otherwise, of expecting a teenage girl to be able to command as much authority and respect in a men's prison as a man of 40 might do. It's not likely, is it? Just look at the picture in the thumbnail again. We know that that girl will be the target of all kinds of emotions and feelings from the men who are locked up. And in addition to that, she might herself be prey to emotions not conducive to maintaining order. It is, in short, quite mad to give such a job to a young girl. But then it is equally mad to appoint teenage girls who are 5 foot 4 inches in height as police constables and expect them to keep order on the streets of our cities. This is what happens when you take a principle which is basically sound, that we should not discriminate against women, and then test it to breaking point. It's happening in the prison service, the police, the fire brigade and the armed services. In all these cases there are very good reasons for preferring older men to take up certain roles instead of teenage girls. What is strange is that almost everybody to whom one speaks agrees with this, and yet any attempt to implement such a plan would be denounced as rank sexism.